Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express. And it's time for Cable Talk. And today, I'm going to talk about how to calculate lengths for pre-terminated cables. First thing you need to do is have an overhead drawing of your data center so you can calculate the cable path linear distance. You want to know the total length in between your racks and cabinets. The blue lines represent cable and conveyance, and this is an important aspect for measuring cable. In this case, we have a two-foot corner, and when we measure our cable, we're going to call that four feet, so we double the length of every corner. So that gives us the horizontal distance. Now we need to come up with the vertical distance. Now that could be starting from the floor, if you have below floor conveyance, or it could be overhead conveyance like we have here. In this instance, we'd be measuring from the ladder rack to the top of this cabinet. Then you want to add 12 feet of slack, and that's 6 feet for each rack, total of 12 feet. This is so, just in case if your equipment moves from the top of the rack down to the bottom of the rack, it ensures you'll be able to connect up. And with all that, you should be really close on your measurements. Now remember, there really is no such thing as a cable stretcher, so don't go too short, but don't overestimate too much, because if you have way too much cable, it'll be bulky and unmanageable. Now, if you have any questions, please contact us. We'd love to help you on your next cabling project. Respect layer one.